Hello programming at Newsiest. Have you ever seen a beautiful designed building facade that hides all the entire complexity behind it? Today we are going to delve into an analogous concept in the world of programming, the facade pattern. So what is facade pattern? Think about the building facade once more. It provides a simple attractive front that consists all the complex inner workings and structures. The facade pattern serves as a similar purpose. It provides a simplified interface to a complex subsystem. It's making it easier to use. Let's talk about the characteristic. It has the defining traits. Primarily, it introduces a single unified interface that hides from the complexities of a subsystem. It's just like building facade hides all the architectural complexities behind it. Secondly, it enhances usability and reduces client code complexity. Similar to how a well-designed building facade can simplify the understanding of the building structure. Let's talk about the benefits and also drawbacks. Like a well-constructed building facade, the facade pattern brings its benefits and also the challenges. First of all, simplified interface. The facade pattern provides a simplified interface to a complex subsystem. It's similar to how a building facade offers a simplified view of the architectural complexity behind it. Second one, loose coupling. The promos, it promotes loose coupling between subsystem and also the clients by encapsulating the interactions between them. It's similar to how a facade separates the exterior from the complex interior of a building. Okay, however, not all is rosy. First, drawback is limited customizability. You know, as a facade simplifies access to a complex subsystem, it may limit more complex or custom operations. It's just like a building facade that restricts the way of interior structures. Second one, possibility of becoming a monolith. If not carefully designed, the facade itself can become a complex monolith. It's much like a building facade can become too overwhelming if not well designed. Let's continue with use cases. When should we use the facade pattern? Okay, let's revert to our building facade analogy. Firstly, when you want to provide a simple interface to a complex subsystem. It's just like a facade provides a simplified way of a building. The facade pattern is useful when you have a complex subsystem that needs simplified interface. Second one, to decouple subsystem from the clients. Just that, just as the building facade separates the building's interior from the exterior, the facade pattern can be used to decouple a subsystem from its clients and other subsystem. It's an enhancing subsystem independence and portability. Third one, legacy code refactoring. Similar to how a new facade can revamp the look of an old building, the facade pattern can help refactor legacy code by providing a new interface to the old code. Fourth one, API wrappers. API wrappers. API wrappers often use facade pattern to provide a simpler, more convenient interface to a complex API. Fifth, abstracting complexities. In the systems like operating systems or the compilers, where there are multiple interac interactions securing, right? A facade pattern can be used to abstract and simplify these operations. And there we have it. A, stru a structured understanding of facade pattern. Like a ground facade is an essential tool in your programming toolkit. It's simplifying your interaction with complex subsystems. If you have any questions, lay them out in questions and answer section. I am here to assist you. And if you are finding the course valuable, 
please leave a review or a writing. Your feedback is the scaffolding that supports better content. Don't halt your progress here. There is a vast ar architectural marvel of knowledge still awaiting you, and you surely don't want to skip that. Thanks for being with me today, folks. Keep coding, keep constructing, and see you in our next lesson.